hello guys welcome back to the channel so in today video we are solving another lead code problem that is 443 string compression before jumping into the solution i would highly recommend you should read the problem statement on your own and give at least 15 to 30 minutes to this problem so let's get right into it what problem is asking that we are given a vector of characters like this a a a b b c c c and what we need to do is we need to modify this vector of characters like this the character and the number of time it is present the character the number of time it is present the character and the number of time it is present and also if it is present only one time we just don't need to write it one we can just forget about it and move it to b over in this case if something like this happens so i think this much is pretty clear what is required from us so let's see if you see that we are iterating also we need to modify this modify the vector of characters we are modifying and moving ahead we are modifying and moving ahead we are modifying and moving ahead does it ring any bell in your head because we have to do it if you see if you see constant extra space if you don't follow this you can uh, make it a different vector and store it and again make a vector of character that you can do but here why we are watching this video to do in constant space constant extra space so we need to modify a previous place but we are still traversing forward does it does it does it ring some bell which algorithm two pointers so what we will be doing how our algo would be looking is that we'll traverse we'll have one i we will have one j j will be pointing to indexes of vector of characters okay and i will traverse forward basically this will take care of modifying modifying the vector of character that's the thing we have two pointers so we'll iterate with i we'll iterate with i till when when our uh, character i minus 1 because we are just looking backward till that is equal we'll keep having the count we'll keep having the count in the else case when this else case will happen because if you have something like this then we have to do something because we have a count of number of a's and we know that what character was repeated a there are two information we need to do something about it we need to modify it we need to modify that vector of characters so what we'll do what we'll do uh, for example take that vector as vector of character as vec so what we'll do j we'll append that character this a which character we have we are currently having also simultaneously why we are doing we just making a pointer ahead yeah so what we will be doing this is there now we have to add this we will add this and other than that we need to basically instead of three we are saying count 
we need to get that count to one that's it that's all about it that we need to do that's all about it that we need to do we'll have a look over at the code and see and understand and we'll have a dry run also of the code let's get into the coding part this is our pointer this is our count basic thing we are starting from one okay we are just checking why we are doing this i'll just tell you let's focus on this we are checking of the previous always for similar same character if that's not the case what we are doing we are appending that character what we did append the a and and now something interesting over here we are doing if the count is more than one if the count is more than one because we are handling that case over here if count is not more than one this would satisfy a just satisfy don't need of a one also that would satisfy that's one thing but also if we have something like this 12 we need like this 112 if if a is present 12 times it will be like this in the vector of characters one separate two separate so that's what we are doing making that count to a string if we convert this to a string so this is the zeroth character this is first index we'll fetch those and what we are doing what we are doing we have to append it modify that vector of characters that's what we are doing and after that what we are doing we have to reset the count that's it and after all the hustle we'll just return the j why j because j would be why j would be the length of this what this over here is the length of this j would be 6 j would be 6 let's take this over here let's take this code over here and we'll have a dry run quick dry run where it went here it is our code yeah and we need this also copy and paste you who now we are on a wheels we are let me write it b c c c zero one two three four five six mm, let me write over here j zero count one we are starting from here We are starting from here. We'll start. This is equals to A. I is over here. This is equals to previous. Okay. Count is now 2. Now I is over here. Now what is happening? We are getting to this else case. What we are doing? What we are doing? J is 0. So over here it will append a to a not append modify a to a nothing is happening but if you see count is greater than two so what we'll do is we'll make it to a string fetch it and what we are doing over see if you see there is a a what we'll do instead of a a two again count is again one now we are doing it i is over here again again count is two again now I forgot to increase the 2 now 2 j sorry j now j is 3 this is 0 this is 1 and this is 2 just let me get it back uh, yeah first time it went j was 1 again time it's when it was 2 yeah 0 1 again we hit that else condition now this time we did a b again we went to 3 now this time we do a 2 and now again we 
do it i traverse for i traverse i for c now again we will have this condition if you see if you see we are going till character size so we will go till 7 because if you see the size of this is how much 7 so we are going i is going till 7 and if it is a 7 so what we are doing we are going directly in the else case and what we do we just first we get that c so we have a c then again we get in this inside this loop and we have four then five it went and we'll just add the count what's the count three and that's it that's what we are doing and if you see j plus plus so it is six now we'll returning six now there would be a confusion that we are not modifying the whole because if you see everything else is also left but if you see the caller function it just it will print till six so this is the six length so no need to worry about it you just need to return this six and modify this vector of characters that's all that is required yeah so what is the time complexity of this solution i would say o of n because we are just doing it for this for loop inside the for loop it is just for uh, i would say a small number if you see this what could be the size the length could be a 2000 characters this length could be a 2000 so if everything is same if every a, 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 a lot of a is only that part we will be traversing and it could be a number for example 2000 so 1 2 3 4 it's nothing n into 4 still n so o of n it is let's see the let's run it for example test cases mm -hmm. it's submitting let's submit it yeah if yes, you see it's working fine also quite fast so i would say this is the end of the video so if you find something useful if you found this video helping in you in some part or some understanding of this problem so consider subscribing to the channel liking this video and sharing with others if you find it good we have come to an end so you have to do what you have to do so keep grinding guys you guys are awesome see you in the next one bye bye also don't forget to subscribe because most people haven't subscribed so yeah so see you in the next one bye bye